Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, time for our weekly market outlook video where we take a look at the market for this next week of FIFA Ultimate Team, possibly to get you guys ready for any possible promotions, events, SBCs, and etc. that will be going on this week inside of FIFA 20. And so this week we do have the Ultimate Screen promotion that is running. So we need to talk about some of that stuff and what that's gonna mean, but also this week, we have some UCL games, so that means UCL content could be coming. And of course, we have the normal weekly events of the icon swaps that people are continuing to grind for uh, and stuff like that. But the main attraction this week is the ultimate screen promo with the first set of screen cards in packs in the game. Right now, we have these 11 players in packs. These players are going to be in packs until Friday. These stats are not changing. These are the stats that these players will have for the rest of the year. And we were going to get another 11 players this coming Friday that will be going in packs to complete out the full set of the Scream team for this year. Pretty solid player selection. I really haven't expressed my opinion on these guys yet since Friday. But I think these are really cool cards. Ibra is going to be very fun to use for those MLS fans, the Ibra fans from years past. Hamas Rodriguez with a massive pace boost. I love that they did that to this card. Um, Muller is cool. Aguero is honestly a team of the season-esque card with the pace, the shooting, the dribbling. That's a very, very high level card. Bernard is a really fun option, a Brazilian left wing in the Prem. Great statistics. Um, and he's kind of a budget option. It's an, a special card at left mid, left wing. Fun card to use. Ro Magnoli is looking like an insane center back for the Serie A. Deli Ali is a great center mid. Guerrero is a little bit okay. One of the cheapest ones, same as Sabitzer. Carvalho looks decent. Um, and then Odomendi is a, a, nice, a nice card at center back as well. So a nice team that is still in packs this week. And continuing the content for this week, what I think we're going to see, I think we're going to continue to see more SBCs like we have seen already this week. We're getting these last two days of the promo. We've gotten like two SBCs each day. We have six SBCs in here right now. I finished two of them today. Today we got the Flying Dutchman and the Tomb Raider, Tomb Razor. We have Zombies and Dracula's Army that were from Saturday. If they continue putting out two of these SBCs per day, that is a ton of packs being opened for this promo, which is honestly crazy. But they keep putting out these SBCs. I wouldn't imagine that they do it every day this week. I think that the UCL stuff might hamper some of these SBCs coming out, more of these Scream-related SBCs, but I do expect to see more of these gold supply packs coming out of the game because that's what EA has loved doing. Like, look at all these SBCs that they have put out during this promo. Like, a lot, eight Scream SBCs since the start of the Scream promo. In three days, we have gotten eight SBCs, including two player SBCs. So, I think we're going to see more of these SBCs in the week, but I think we're going to see some Champions League stuff come on top of that. Some people were thinking we might get another player as an SBC. I don't really see that happening. We already have two players available through SBC, Milner and Jesus Navas, and we have an objective player. So I don't know if we're going to get another Scream card that would be available through SBCs, but I think that if we got any other card, it would probably be like a flashback player or maybe another end of an era or something like that. Maybe even a Champions League related SBC that would come out with a player on Tuesday or Wednesday. And that's a possibility for this week as well. Maybe another player SBC or two. Um, I don't think we're due any other player of the month. We've gotten all of those covered. We have a lot of those that are in the SBC section right now. Um, but then, yeah, just more screen packs that are going to be coming out probably. We're going to have promo packs in the store every day. They've been doing this every day so far, putting promo packs in. And um, I would imagine maybe like a small objective or something related to Scream. But um, the bigger talk this week, I think, has to be about UCL. I think a lot of people are overlooking that Champions League is going to be happening this week in FIFA. Tuesday and Wednesday, there are Champions League games back on in the competition. Match day 3 of 6. That means UEFA marquee matchups, SBC is probably going to be coming out. And the biggest thing about this is, are we going to finally figure out what those UCL cards are going to be like in this game? Are they going to be available in packs? Are they only going to be available through SBCs? What is that going to do to the market? I want to talk about that a little bit as well. But first, the UEFA marquee matchups. For the Tuesday games, I think that Atletico Madrid and Bayer Leverkusen would be an easy shoe in Last week, or last time, last match day, there were two 
teams included in the mark the marquee matchups for UCL. It was a Tuesday game and a Wednesday game. They've been doing that pretty consistently. The Tuesday game that has the biggest rivalry or the, the biggest game on Tuesday, I think, is this game with Madrid and Bayer Leverkusen. Maybe pick up some of these guys on bid for cheap. Just stock your club. If they're under 1,000 coins, there's no harm. Try to get them on bid. Chuck them in your club. They might go up with the SBC, or you have some in there just in case you want to do it yourself. And then for Wednesday, it's a little more tough. I think Ajax and Chelsea would be a front runner for that SBC, or Inter Milan and Dortmund. Those two matchups look to be the highest quality teams kind of playing each other, the biggest matchups for this week in Champions League. But again, the biggest thing that we really want to know about is the Champions League cards, because some of them are still on the market right now. And EA promised us that we were going to be getting some more information on these cards um, as they do come out. Because before, I mean, they're on the game right now. It, it is a fact. You can find them. Um, let me go to Prem. Let me search Spurs special max by now of like 20 or 30K. We're going to have some other cards in here. Actually, there, there was a few right there. Boom. This is perfect. So there are cards right now that are still on the market that people have packed when they were um, put into packs before like they shouldn't have been but they're on the market so it, it tells me that I think these cards are going to end up being on the market at some point in some way shape or form whether it's going to be like last year whether they put them into SBC packs and that's the only way they're available onto the market tradable I think they're going to do that same thing this year but since they got onto the market somehow it was during once to watch early game these people were actually packing these blue cards it was a really weird situation so I hope we get some clarification on that. And if they do put these like in packs or even an SBC pack, this is going to drop the gold market some on some of the high-rated players. That I, the, the players that I'm most worried about are some high-rated players that are maintaining a high price. Like a guy like Sadio Mane. Sadio Mane right here. Does he have any UCL cards on the game? Do I see any blues here? I'm looking through his inform. I don't see any blues on the market at this time. Maybe a guy like Salah. Does he have any blues? Some of these guys like Salah, like Mane, if their blue cards come out of the game, that could be a big impact. Maybe Wijnaldum as well. Maybe Wijnaldum. That could be a big impact on their gold card price because the supply is going to come out of the market so quick and all at one time, and it's going to drive that price down. Wijnaldum might not have an impact on the price that much. His gold card is out of packs, though. So you could see that drop, but right now Wayne Hollum's at 60k. 60k. Wow, that was a terrible voice crack. And what is his gold card? Wayne Hollum's gold card is 28, 27k, something like that. So there's a lot of room to drop there, but I would be most worried about the high-rated cards. Even a guy like Mane or Sane, the blue cards might come onto the game from an SBC pack so fast that it destroys the value of the gold card. Because you have Mane up here, like what is he? Two, 220k, 220. Oh, he's actually below. Is my man actually under 200k? He is close to 200k. Wow, he's he's dripped down a lot, probably because of the Bernard. But you could see his blue card come onto the market, and as people pack that card, they're gonna under undercut, undercut, undercut to try to get their coins if an SBC comes out with those blue cards in the packs. So you might see this card's price drop a little bit if that undercutting. It all depends on the card, but these higher rated ones I think are at the most risk. Somebody like um like a SB like a blue version of Militao could be at risk as well, a low-rated player that is higher priced. Do we have any special Militao's in the market? We do not, but Militao himself right now sells for like 12, 13K, just his normal gold card, 13K actually. But if you see the blue version get packed a bunch, it's gonna get packed a bunch from SBCs, from a UCL SBC, because it's 81 rated. These cards, the UCL cards have no up upgrade over the base cards this year, which I think is a little bit unfortunate. I know that some people like it because if that player gets an inform, then the UCL card isn't there to kind of mess up that gold card to inform progression. But I think that these gold cards having the same price, it doesn't give them as much value. So they won't be as good to trade with and it could hurt the gold cards prices, but which maybe that's what EA wants um, with these cards coming on the market. So watch those blue cards. Because if we get enough supply from them, if EA does a couple packs in here that makes them tradable through SBCs or, or however they're going to come onto the market, that could bring some supply in the game. And that would be another opportunity for gold cards to drop this week. I know they keep dropping these SBCs that supply gold and supply packs. And that's why you see these cards dipping down so much. Let's go to Footbin and find a player 
to look at this as an example, like Usman Dembele, very popular card. I just clicked on the wrong one. Former Spurs player, Musa Dembele. Cheers. What a guy. Usman Dembele, though. Look at this price drop. 75,000 coins on Friday during the hype of the weekend league. He gets packed a lot from all these SBCs that EA is putting out. Also, the promo packs doesn't help that. Down to 55,000 coins, an 84-rated player. His blue card could come out. The price cap could be set at maybe like 120k, but all those cards come out of the game at once. It's just like an SBC. All these cards are going to get packed. People are going to undercut, undercut, undercut. And then you have a bunch of panic selling on the market. People selling the gold card because the gold card is higher than the blue card. If you see blue cards on popular players like this or meta players like a Van Dyke, this is a card that I would watch. Watch the blue version of Van Dyke because if it's under 600k, that would be like a screaming buy because some people are going to pack that and they're going to list it up. And this card's at 664. The blue card could come out. The gold card price could drop, yes, because the blue one's out, but the blue card being a lot lot lower than the gold. Since the blue cards, at least last year, if they do it the same way as last year, they were only available through SBC packs. That means they have limited supply. So once the pack comes in, they kind of rise up as people go buy those cards. We'll just have to monitor that situation by what happens this week. But that is going to be a big thing we're going to look for this week to find, kind of figure out and say, hey, are we actually getting some of these UCL cards this week through packs? What's going to happen and stuff like that. I'm going to switch back to the scream talk, though. UCL is important. It is. It's very important. But we do need to look at some of these scream cards because some of these cards are pretty low, in my opinion. James Rodriguez, 380k. This is a card that's going to be usable for a long time in foot. A lot of people want to know when to buy these cards. He has a two-star weak foot, which, which kind of sucks, but this one's actually usable. I mean, this is a card that I think is going to maintain its value for the rest of the year because of Real Madrid. It's James Rodriguez, very popular player, and he got a massive pace upgrade, so he's actually usable aside from the weak foot. When is the best time to buy a lot of these cards? A lot of people want to know about Bernard as well. When is the best time to buy some of these cards? My opinion is wait until they're about to go out of packs. Thursday during weekend league awards could be a great time to pick up these cards, especially a guy like Bernard who's going to get packed a lot with all the high level packs that come out with weekend league rewards and division rivals rewards on um, Thursdays. You're probably going to see a decent amount of supply of these cards on the market on Thursday. They go out, they go out of packs Friday, so that's the one thing. I don't think they're going to be included with the next set of Scream cards. They won't put one team in packs for two weeks and then one team in packs for only one week. I think they'll do both for one week. And we'll see what they do with other SBCs. A guaranteed Scream player SBC, I don't see that coming this week just because only 11 cards are available right now in the game. A guaranteed Scream player SBC pack is in the code from last year, so it is possible that it comes out. But that'll be something that would come out probably next week when they could have all 22 or 23 screen cards available in that SBC. That's where I would see that being the highest probability. No need to try to invest in that yet. And even if they did try to invest in that, I would just club stock 83s, get a couple discard informs. That would be my opinion on how to invest for that. But this week on FIFA should be a chill one. I mean, I, we have a lot of content on tap. We're getting a lot of content in terms of SBC content during the screen promo, which is awesome. It's great. It doesn't help the market, but EA loves punishing the market this year by supplying cards, supplying cards, and supplying more cards through packs. But we'll see what happens this week with Champions League, marquee matchups, possibly UCL upgrades. That would hurt the market as well if people are able to turn in cards, do a two-player pack upgrade SBC with UCLs, and get the blue version instead of the gold. That would make some gold card prices drop as well so that's something to keep an eye out for we don't have to worry about road to the final stuff just yet road to the finals came last year a week before black friday or a couple weeks before black friday so i don't think we have to worry about that stuff just yet that should be about two or three weeks away for those road to the final cards in fifa 20 for champions league but again this week more screen promo i wouldn't expect any screen player SBCs, maybe one more. That would be the most I would think of, but two SBCs is already good, I think. So we'll see what happens with that. Marquee matchups, Champions League cards, possibly some Champions League drama going on with cards going back on the market. We'll kind of have to survey that situation. And then, of course, we'll be looking at the normal weekend league buying and flipping times. 
watch the ones to watches as well. You see me have a, I have a couple brands here on my transfer list. I bought these at like 35K. That was a good one on bid, 39K. Watch some of these card prices because once a watch kind of gets swept, slept on for midweek games, Brandt is still pretty low from his game on Saturday. Julian Brandt, still at around 40,000 coins, I think is pretty cheap. That card fluctuates a lot, and people are going to maybe think that he could get a team of the week from Champions League. So if he scores a goal, has an assist, has a good game in Champions League games, those cards that are once to watches that are playing Champions League this week could be a little bit of a good uh, investment opportunity if they play. Something to watch for. Just a little bit of a gamble. And some of them are still kind of low right now coming out of the weekend where they played games and didn't have inform worthy performances. Speaking of inform worthy performances, I'm like trying to wind down the video and I keep thinking of things that I could say at the end to help you guys out. This needs to be said. If you have a Wissam Ben Yedder ones to watch card, please sell that sucker before Wednesday. I don't think he's getting in. Well, to be fair, I think he does have a shot of getting in team of the week. But his card has doubled in price, up from like 110, 115 to 220 plus. Right now he's about 220. Take the money on this card. It's an 83 rated card. He's already up 100k. That's incredible profit, incredible return on investment. If he gets in form, yes, his price could go up. But I think that when he gets announced in Team of the Week, you can see that price go down as people say, "Oh, he's in. His price is gonna go up." That day, his price actually will go down, I would assume, before it would go up. I don't think this card's actually worth 220k. I feel like his inform would maybe settle around 175, 180k, maybe just under 200, depending on the boost that they give the card. He should go to an 85 rated inform, maybe get to like 86 pace, 84, 85 shooting, 80 passing. So it would be a decent upgrade. A lot of people would want to use it. But. I don't think that it would be worth 220k, especially considering how low the market is right now. And his gold card, you can go buy for like what 20k? It's something crazy like that. So that's my thoughts for this week. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below in the comments. I'm very active down there. I like to respond to you guys and talk to you guys. And of course, like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.